Comme Advance, envoie des messages, <rire> fais des vidéos, des photos, ajoute des super filtres trop cool et en plus, il y a plein de jeux. Qui dit comme Advance, c'est ton portable. Hello, you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. And it's another unboxing video, guys. And this time, it's something a bit different again. It's another one of those educational video game systems. And in fact, this is a very interesting one, guys, because this is very advanced indeed. This is not your box standard kind of, uh, yeah, NG toy, NG system, whatever. Um, yeah, it's uh, a VTEC. It is a Kiddicom Advanced 3.0. And it's basically like a tablet that is running Android, as you can see there. So you can imagine, can't you, what capabilities this has. Yeah, not being an educational toy and some cool bloody things you can do with it, even though it is an educational toy. So yeah, guys, let's have a look, first of all, at the box. But first, I should tell you guys that this was brand new, but unfortunately, cash converters had to open it up to test that it was working, of course, when they bought it in. But that's where I got it from, cash converters. Now, as you can see here, guys, it's a very, very large box indeed, and it is very, very large. But let's move it down, guys, so you can see this thing. You obviously, I've got the pink and white version, so you've got a girl on the front, because this one's aimed at girls. You can also get it in black and what have you. There is a bit of chrome there as well, like around the uh, camera and so on, because this has got camera. It has also got... Wi-Fi so yeah you can see down here guys 4 to 11 it says there and uh, yeah you can go a hell of a lot further than that guys on the 11 if you do some twerking and tweaking with it but yeah Wi-Fi and you've got obviously parental controls messaging secured web browser which you can get around that one as well guys by just installing a proper browser uh, photos and videos, you've got multimedia playback like videos and music, learning games, you get smart device just for kids. No it isn't, not if you do what we've done to it, that's for sure. Now up here guys, you've got Kiddicom chat and all that. Yeah, 20 learning lodge download credits. So yeah, you can basically download 20 applications to put on it when you first buy it. Now, here it says, open here. So we'll do that now, guys. Here we go. Because it's one of them with the Velcro. There we go, and there is the actual machine inside. So you can see it's quite a size, guys. But still, why such a big box? Hmm. And there you can see, guys, five megapixel camera, super tough, eight gig storage, expandable up to 136 gig i don't get that guys i mean uh yeah 128 gig would have made sense but 136 that's a weird number uh five inch hd touchscreen 3d like home screen and yeah internal rechargeable uh fully batteries <laughs> and wi-fi connection yeah, cool. And then on this flap, guys, you just got lots of other gubbins there. I'll let you have a bit of a look there, guys, if you're interested. You can even see it. It's so bloody big. Just going on about the, uh, yeah, the camera, the games, photos and videos, web browser, multimedia player, parental controls, 3D home screen, and all that gubbins. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, there we go. That's that. On the side, guys, you just got all the ump, as you can see there. Hopefully you can see it, even that skew with. At the bottom, just another load of old guff going on there. Yeah. On this side, guys, it tells you how you can, uh, you know, 
obviously uh, download on the App Store and Google Play. That is for Kiddicom uh, Chat Advance, uh, you know, app, so that you can get things on this. But of course, there's other ways of doing it. You don't have to stick to that crap, do you? No, you don't. And here, guys, on the top, it just says that. There we go. Cool. And then on the back, guys, we just have a whole load of the same again. Talking about some of the games and what have you. Yeah, so that is about that there. And you can see the bottom seal is still in place. Right there. There's some of the games you can get for it and apps and what have you. But yeah, that is it, guys. So, yeah. Shall we unbox this thing? Even though, as you can see, guys, Cash Converters already did it. So, all right, let's open it up and uh, let's see what you see at first glance. Not a lot, just that tray, guys. There we go, just a tray, a pink tray. And let's pull it out. Let's have a look. Oh, he says if it's not too stuck here. Oh, 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 here we go, guys. Right, so in there, guys, absolutely nothing anymore. There we go, chuck it in the side. And then we have a very interesting uh, upside down box, guys. And the reason I've done this upside down. Is because this is a good way of getting to all the gubbins that comes with it. So you've got this white box, guys, which is kind of like giving it a bit of support here. And then if you go like this, there we go, that comes off, that is empty. Put that aside, and there we go. There's your uh, connection cable to the PC. And what are we? To transfer your files. Which aren't just from B Tech. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Put him over there a minute. Let's have a look. Hey, there we go. Then you get the supplied for a change. You get a charger. And it is a Mini B. So it's a bit of an old fashioned one, but still. And this only came out, guys, in, I do believe, uh, 2020, something like that. There we go. Oh yeah, not bad. Look, like it's got a hell of a lot of length on there. Now, in fact, I know it's got a lot of length on there because I did already charge it up to make sure I can make this video. It's got a really nice length to that uh, cable. Put him aside. And then we've got the gubbins here. So let's have a look what we've got. To start with, we have the, yeah, Parents guide they call it <laughs> But yeah, it's basically the user ma uh, manual. Oh, he says come around this side. Look, it all opens up like this guys There's a picture of the system itself telling you about the Controls and things how to charge it and all that gubbins There we go quite a long thing there. Let's turn it around There's the other side all the legal info and what have you and problem shooting no doubt and things like that it's the usual gubbins guys does it open up anymore no that seems to be it so it is actually quite nice paper the quality to it oh there's a bit more there look that opens up there we go so yeah basically it's a very long book i'll put him aside and then we have the catalogue which tells you just about all the other things that they do and this appears to be very long as well there's the kitty camera and all that oh he says dropping it like and all that gubbins look loads of things walkie talkies and bloody all sorts there there we go that's that side anything on the other side that's all like oh yes there's even more look even more with their pet type things there animals and what have you and then god knows what else here yeah loads and loads of stuff and then Paw Patrol and all that like another very long book there now we're to here guys so there's nothing else nothing in this side that is it so let's take him out of the way because look what's happened here that comes out the front like that so there we go that is empty now guys so i'll put him aside as well there we go and then we'll pull this little bugger in so you can see guys 
it's in that way around. So let's pull, pop him out, shall we say. That is a very weird picture there that is on the front, by the way. Look at that. Very, very weird indeed. And that there's her auntie. Hmm, very odd picture. I think it's to do with the trolls or something. That's what it looks like anyway. Yeah, I should hope it is. I hope that kid doesn't really look like that. But yeah, here we are guys with the unit itself. And as you can see, fingerprints all over it. And uh, what's nice about this, guys, is obviously it's got a camera, like I said. And you can spin it around like that. And it clicks back into place. So that you can reverse it to take pictures or video the other way around. And then here, guys, if I turn that... Well, let's turn it around like that, look. There's a little switch on top here that you can pull that over and switch the camera from one side to the other. Which is very, very cool. Yeah, that is a pretty cool feature. Well, let's get back around to the front here. And you can see it's just the screen, the camera there, and that is your lot. And it is a touch screen, as they've already said on the box, of course. And it's a pretty reactive one, to be honest. It's very smooth indeed. And on the sides, guys, we have this here, which uh, lights up, guys. It is, uh, yeah, an indicator for the power. It'll go red and it'll go green and all that. Up here, guys, we have the on and off button. We have the SD card slot, because yes, it's got an SD card slot, guys. And there we are. There's the SD card slot, and it's also where the air power plug is as well. There we go. So there's your slot. There's your power plug. So yeah, nicely covered there. And guys, at the bottom, we have the headphone jack. Because yes, it's got a headphone jack and a speaker. And uh, around here, guys, you've got the volume rocker, which is nice as well to see a physical volume rocker. And then on top, guys, nothing, just that camera, of course. Then, then on the back, guys, we have a speaker, a lanyard strap holder, if you like. Up here, nothing else, guys, just a load of gubbins about the machine itself. But yeah. Very, very cool, guys. But what's even cooler is what you can do with this bloody thing. Uh, obviously, you can do the stuff it's made for. But you can do a hell of a lot more than that. Right, it's time to refocus. And I'll show you exactly what you can get on this thing. And more. Right, here we go, guys. Let's turn this little sucker on, shall we? Let's see if I can find the button. There we go. And, yeah, there we are. Look at that. That is the uh, lock screen, of course. Let's bring it in a bit more so you can see it better. There we go, and watch this, guys. Ha ha, Pac-Man. Oh yes, Pac-Man. Brilliant. Uh, just excuse my cat in the background there. So yeah, here on the menu, guys, you can see. You've got music, you've got video, You've got lots of the educational bits here as well, like wonder masks, which is actually quite fun. It's where you can put these random masks over your photographs, which I'll show you some of them in a bit. And you've also got notes, learning games. Uh, what else is that? Uh, other apps. That's a very interesting one in a moment, guys. You've got gallery, voice changer. Art Studio, the voice change is actually quite fun as well. Yeah, Art Studio and all sorts of other things. Then you've got, of course, your normal web browser on here, your camera for doing your videos, and so on. And then over here, guys, you can move it along, and there's more there. You've got calendar and all that gubbins. I'm sure you can see that for yourself. Ebooks and all that. Yeah, this does a lot, guys. It's like having a proper Android device, but with their, uh, yeah, their shitey OS on the top uh, that makes it an educational toy which is fine if you've got kids and you're just using it for that but let's say like I have done many times before with these educational devices the kids have grown up and you still want to get some use out of it that's what the point of this video is going to be in it mm. and then even more there these are all like your parent controls and stuff and like that and you you really got to put up with some crap uh, you know to actually install things and stuff like that 
a bit of a work around but it's not not hard at all it's very very simple just a bit annoying that you keep having to ask yourself if it's all right because you're the bloody parent Ugh. yeah and there's other learning bits there guys learning lodge and all that my internet guide and stuff like that but the bit we're very interested in is back over here other apps and look what you can put on here yeah look at that at the top guys retroarch then you got an n64 emulator a file manager which you don't get on here proper chrome <laughs> and you got the aurora store which is basically the uh, play store but even better in some ways then you got the amazon app store candy crush which you would not get on here normally or any of the other bloody games like the uh, yeah the block blast bubble rainbow then you got seeker which is a music Ooh, mp3 download it oh and uh, yeah, I've managed to put on my favourite music player. You've got MX Video Player, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, much better than the crappy one that's uh, yeah, been put on here. And then guys, Tetris and Pac-Man. So yeah, there's some fantastic things you can do here, guys. There really, really is. Now, of course, we want to have a look at Retro Arch running on here, don't we? But first of all, let's have a look at just how well you know it's made all right me saying you can put these things on but how do they play well let's try it with hmm, bubble rainbow shall we first here we go let's see if i can get the whole of that screen in it is very very bloody big and the lights are affecting the screen well let's hope you get to see something it's going to be quite difficult for me to play it like this anyway i think we're nearly there yes here we go guys we're in so yeah you can see i've been playing this already we're on level seven let's try it anyway there we go so you can see it plays pretty damn well and the, the, the touch screen is fantastic it really is look at this look this is cool guys there we go and of course the machine's not really meant to do things like this is it at all it's because we've been naughty installed proper web browser so you can get your apks and install them i'm always gonna have to shoot him randomly over there somewhere there we go got to get rid of him now there we are but yeah you can say guys this is playing beautifully absolutely fantastic oh bugger wrong one there we go get that one Aha. got you as well you sucker and you come on get it oh it's because i can't really see with the viewfinder again that's always my excuse i know there we go got rid of that haha <laughs> we're gonna get this one there oh get it over there then oh you bugger get it oh how annoying oh damn me yeah not doing very well guys but you get the drifter eh? i think you do yeah pretty cool and i'm trying to think now how you quit one of these that's the only thing I can't quite remember how you quit a game. I do believe it's quite simple. Like you just pull up something or something. Or, oh, there we go. Look, there you go. You just pull it up like you would normally. Like that. I do believe it's that one. Yay, there we go. We're back. Slowly but surely we're getting back. It's a little while. There it is. It's back again, guys. So, yeah. Then we can go back in. Come on you. There we are guys, we're back in. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at hmm, Tetris. There we are. Now this is a different kind of Tetris. This is one I just downloaded off the Play Store. Um, it's a fun enough version, but there's no music, unfortunately. Uh, arcade, yeah, there we go. Bit of the old arcade, come on in you sod, I said do it. Yeah, and I do believe you move them around somehow, I can't, oh, like that guys, there we go. 
yeah, no music, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, you can bring it down like that. And stuff like that. There you go. But you know what? All of this gubbins isn't really what we're here for, is it? No, we want to see emulation running on one of these babies, don't we? And just how well that might work. But of course, we do have to take a look at other things as well. Um, but yeah, let's go into the emulator, the retro arch running on here and see how good that can be. Now, like I said earlier, guys, no Bluetooth, no USB. So no way of plugging a controller in. So you're stuck with the on-screen controls, but they're actually remarkably good. So it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a learning curve for people who prefer physical buttons. I prefer physical buttons, to be honest. But to be honest, this thing is so fantastic. It's a crap. So yeah, let's go in. Load content, the usual, guys. Come on, you, get in there. Right, down to storage. You can set this up better, guys. It's just the way I've chosen to do it. Now, that's the memory card I put in here, which is uh, only a 34 gig one, I do believe, or 128 gig might be, actually. Now, we go in, and then go down to ROMs. There we go, down there. In we go. And let's try a Game Boy Advance one first. There we go. So, we've got a few on here, just to show you. Um, yeah, so let's try um, Sonic Advance, shall we? There we go. Now you can see the on-screen controls are there. There we go. They're pretty straightforward. And um, what have you? There we go. Sound coming out of that speaker is quite minimal. But it's only mono. But it does the job. Let's see if I can actually do anything with this. Now, of course, you don't have to have it like this in portrait. You can flip it around, guys, and it will turn for you. But the controls are slightly on the screen, but it gives you a nicer, bigger screen to actually watch, doesn't it? So that's quite cool. Yep, there we go. And let's press that one. There we go. That one again. Is it? No, that one this time. Yeah, there we go, guys. Yeah, it does take some getting used to. I mean, it's even harder when you're doing it like me. There we go, guys. But yeah, you do get used to it, obviously. Come on, you, move it. Yeah, bugger. Ah, here we go. See, this is where I'm having trouble with the viewfinder and trying to press those buttons at the same time. But yeah, there we go. Cool. Let's just keep going, just to show you. But it is running very well here. Oh, we got me the bugger. And there we go. There you got it. And we're going to get you as well. Come on. And, oh, no, maybe not. Maybe. Okay, then. Fine. Just keep going, you little sod. That's it. You can see, guys, this is working beautifully. Absolutely. So, yeah, that is wicked. And to exit it, guys, you just go here. There we go. And you can go to close content. And then we'll go into load content again. And we'll go into uh, storage again. Back into the memory card. And down to ROMs again. And this time we're going to go into... Hmm, let's have a look. Uh, Mega Drive. Here we go. So you got the usual there, guys. Sonic. And Sonic there. Uh, knuckles and all that guys. Right, let's go for that one. Here we go. You're going to see how well these ones play now as well. Yeah, that music's absolutely brilliant. Fine. Right, new game. Yeah, here we go. I tell you, it's a fantastic way of breathing new life into an old, you know, console that your kids had uh, that was made just for kids. 
It's a fantastic way of reusing it. Instead of having to sell it off for whatever pennies. Yeah, you can see this is running absolutely fine as well. I'm not going to get too far into it, guys, because, yeah. We've got more to cover here, haven't we? Yes, we have. Right, okay, so that's that one. Oh, bum. Look, I went too far, guys. Went too far. Close content. There we go. Now, load content again. Hey, and down to storage again. Back in there. And down to... Where are we? Oh, ROMs again. There we go. Uh, what shall we try this time? Hmm, let's try uh, Game Boy. Oh, look, Tetris. We've always got to try Tetris. The proper Tetris this time, of course. There we are. Let's go there. They play beautifully again, guys. Beautifully. Right, there we go. Yeah, cool. There you see you guys, wicked. Oh, yeah, bugger. Put you over there then. Again, just getting used to those controls, guys. And then you'll be fine. Oh, bugger, look at that. Huh. Oh, yes, sod. Come on. Oh, viewfinders and on screen controls do not go together, that's for sure. Hmm. Let's turn in. Go on. Huh. There we are, that's better. You over here, come on. Yeah, you got rid of one line. Never mind, there we go. Right, okay, let's come out again. Stop it. Right. There we go. Back out and back in. And back in. And back in again. And back down to here. And this time let's have a look at Game Boy Color. Right, I've only got Shantae. And uh, Wario Land 3. Let's go for Shanty. I love that game. So very, very much. It's a fantastic game. If I way forward. And it's by Capcom, of course. Yeah. Can't say any more than that. Way forward and Capcom together. Right. There we go. I'll say, yeah, that'll do. Whatever. You can see again, working beautifully, guys. Absolutely beautifully. Just putting up with these on screen controls. That's the only thing. But if you can get used to that, you'll be absolutely fine. Just don't try and record it at the same time because it's very difficult. And you might notice as well here, guys, that the, uh, the on screen buttons don't go into the actual play area. On certain of the emulators here including this one of course so yeah we just want to get on with it here come on get on with it that's it come on Shanty off you go you little minx here we go oh she got smacked and again because I can't run properly guys here we go because I can't see what I'm bloody doing with the buttons Try my best, come on. <laughs> of course you can make your hair. Ooh. And fall down and die. Now again guys, playing beautifully. So yeah, I think that's as far as we're going to go today. I'm going to be jumping back onto this little beauty because I want to sort of show the, you know, the, the educational side of it and things like that as well. But I think that was a jolly good start to looking at this fantastic Kiddicom Advanced 3.0. What a wicked thing it is. And there's also a pretty much the same thing but with a phone. I do think it's called the Buzz or something. The Kiddicom Buzz or something like that anyway. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool as well. But yeah, shall we come back with my final thoughts on this matter or another educational game system
Right, there we go, guys. Everything's laid out again. That's about the best I can do with the box because everything's so bloody big. But yeah, what a fantastic unit, guys. I mean, already for kids, this must have been awesome to have had all this content on here. Looking at it as an educational game system, wicked. All those apps they could get. You know, for the younger ones, guys, obviously. Like I said, you know, 4 to 11, it says on the box. But yeah. What you can do with it afterwards, guys, is awesome. You can basically turn this into a emulation device, a Android tablet. You can go on the full internet and everything, which I didn't show you. Obviously, I showed you that Google was there. You can also install Firefox. Um, but yeah, you can make this into a very much used item by yourself and the whole family, if you like. This doesn't stop at just what VTech intended. Oh, no. You can do a lot of things with this. And it's got a half decent camera on it, 5 megapixel. That is half decent. And of course, because you flip it round, it's 5 megapixel, whatever way you have it. It's HD. And I didn't even show you that 3D effect, did I? That is why there's going to be another video, guys. This was just the first look and unboxing. Just showing you that you can bang your emulators on there and you can buy your APKs on there and play android games that aren't meant to be on here at all and i've still got to show you the whole educational side anyway so there might be free videos coming oh <laughs> this is a very cool device indeed and if you can pick one up guys who cares if it's pink if you uh, end up just getting one of them and um, the black one's cool of course and um, but yeah what a fantastic thing to play some emulation on and a hell of a lot more and of course i didn't show you the fantastic player i put on there i didn't show you the video quality all that is to come in the next video but yes guys what did you think of this first episode looking at the kiddiecom advanced 3.0 are you like me do you think this is pretty surprising for what it can do as a kid's thing wow wicked Okay, guys, you know what to do. Comment and wave a lot what you think. Now you're looking forward to a second part coming. Because I tell you what, I can get some videos out of this thing. It's so cool. It really, really is. Right on with that, guys. I'm going to wrap things up and I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs, thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. And again, guys, if you love emulation and retro game systems, I've got a fantastic group for you on Facebook. It is a retro emulation and systems fan group with nearly 4,000 members, guys. You can't go wrong. There is plenty of like-minded people, tons of content from system unboxing, system reviews, emulation performance and tech help videos. And I tell you what, the world's greatest admin team behind it as well. So, wow. What a fantastic group for you to take a look at. And if you're interested, it is linked below. Head over and take a look. And guys, I also have my UK Crack Gaming Facebook group. We'll cover everything gaming. From the dawn of gaming with Pong machines right the way through to PS5s and everything that came in between. Again, tons of content there, guys, because other YouTubers put their videos up there every single day, including myself, of course, and an ever-growing member base and fantastic admin team there as well. So again, link below if you're interested. And finally, guys, I have my channel membership. For as little as 99 pence a month, you can become a member of the UK Crowd family. And I'll tell you what, guys, that gives you access to the members-only videos. It gets you a badge next to your name in the comments. That changes colour every month and lets everybody know that you're a member of the UK Crowd family. There is other tiers with other perks attached, guys. So if you just find that join button, take a look and see what you think. Right with that, guys. That's it for part one of looking at the Kiddicom Advanced 3.0. I'll see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen, tschüss and goodbye.